Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to explain how to display the square of 1 to 10 numbers using while loop. So let's see how the program is written. So here I'm writing a program. You can see as include angular bracket start std io dot h angular bracket end. Here, hash include is used for preprocessor directive and stdio.h stands for standard input output header file. This preprocessor directive includes this header file so that we can use the functions inside this header file. That is the printf and scanner functions that are widely used. So next, void main. This is the main function declaration so main function from the main function the program execution starts so now i am declaring a variable int i is equal to 1 comma n semicolon so now in the printf statement display display square of numbers square of numbers from 1 to 10 double quotation and bracket and semicolon 1 to 10 so now while i less than equal to 10 opening curly bracket n is equal to i asterisk i semicolon print f print f within double quotation percentile d double quotation end comma n bracket and semicolon then i plus plus the value of i will be incremented then while loop closed while loop closed main function closed so now the program is complete let's execute it and let's see how this works so here in while loop i i less than equal to 10 then n the value of n is that is i asterisk i then this will be printed so first the value of i is 1 that is assigned 1 to check to 10 1 less than equal to 10 or not yes 1 is less than equal to 10 if this condition satisfies if this condition satisfies if this condition is true then the statements inside the while loop will be executed. So these statements will be executed. Okay. So here n is equal to i asterisk i. So the value of i is 1. So n the value of 1 will be n will be 1 asterisk 1. That is that will be 1. 1 or the square of 1 that is 1. So again this will be printed. That means 1 will be printed. Now, i plus plus, the value of i will be incremented to 2. So, 2 less than equal to 10, yes or no? No. No or yes? Yes. 2 less than equal to 10, this is true. That means the value of n will be i asterisk i that is equal to 2 asterisk i that is equal to 4. So, again, 4 will be printed here. i plus plus, the value of i will be incremented and this will be 3. 3 less than equal to 10, yes or no? Yes, it is true. If it is true, then the value of n equal to 3 square, that equal to 9. So 9 will be printed. Again, 4, i will be incremented to 4. So 4 less than equal to 10. And uh, this is true. So the value of n will be 4 square, that equal to 16. Similarly, this will uh, move up to 10, and 10 less than equal to 10 this is true because either less than or equal to so here equal to satisfied so 10 less than equal to 10 that is true so the value of n will be 10 square that is equal to 100 okay so now i plus plus the value of i will be incremented to 11 so 11 less than equal to 10 is it true no this is false so if this is false then the 
control goes out of the loop. So already one the square of one to ten numbers have been printed here. Okay, so let's execute this program in my dev C editor and see how this works. Here I am opening the dev C editor. So from file, I'm selecting new, then source file. Now, us include stdio.h right main next opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket, int i equal to one semicolon, comma n, not semicolon. So print f. Within double quotation, I'm writing this play square of one to ten. Bracket end semicolon. Now while I less than equal to ten, opening curly bracket. n is equal to i asterisk i asterisk i semicolon print f within bracket percentile d comma n semicolon now i plus plus semicolon so now my program is complete let's see what is the output so when I will compile it, it will ask me to save the program. So I'm setting the name of square. Okay. So insert, I'm writing a steward, C source files with dot C extension, save. So when I will save it, this will print. So yes, this is this should not be written. Okay. Uh, so now once again I'm executing it. Yes. The output you can see one four nine sixteen so this is uh, written consecutively so let me change something so here i'm using this last p operator so that it will make a space here you can see one four nine sixteen twenty five thirty six thirty nine sixty four eight one hundred so we get the square of numbers from one to 10, okay? So in this way, we can calculate the square of any numbers within the range that we'll provide in file loop. So if you like this video, then subscribe it, subscribe my channel, and thanks for watching.